Show yourself. Whoop. Today we are going to rehouse an animal that's maybe not as dangerous as a tarantula, at least for us humans, but equally exciting to observe. And I have very fond memories keeping those, especially from my childhood. So today we are going to rehouse a big giant green mantis. So let's get to the video. All right, everyone, here's the star of this episode. It's not a Psalmopeus reduncus like the name is suggesting right here. Inside this container is a mantis. Here is the Sphodromantis aurea. So it's a big green mantis and just like predicted, this one came out as a female. Look at that gorgeous little bug. <laughs> It can be jumpy, so I need to be careful. Take a look at that. And this little green friend needs a home. Isn't she gorgeous? There you go. What a gorgeous shot. And we are going to prepare a home for you. One thing I want to mention is that I asked on the forums for a male for this little girl here. So with a bit of luck, we will find a husband for her, probably a short-timed husband, if the reputations about the praying mantis are correct. But at least there will be a chance that we will have some mantis babies. Oh, come on, she looks so gorgeous. I can still remember all the mantids that I had in my terrarium animal keeping career and I've learned some very harsh lessons along the way, but I always had fun keeping them. They are amazing. They are a really amazing alternative if, for example, the significant other in your life is a bit too afraid of keeping tarantulas. So this is the enclosure that I will use today. This one has 20 by 20 by 40 centimeters in dimension and I normally use those for big arboreal tarantulas like the Pezziloteria genus or the Psalmopeus cambrigi. You may ask why I'm using this high enclosure instead of the shorter ones like for the Avicularia or the Tapinaugenius. I observe that the mantis likes to climb a lot and it moves a lot so I really want to give this insect the ability to do that. If you are keeping a mantis that is still not an adult, you absolutely need to provide the extra space in height because mantids, they mold uh, using gravity. They are hanging on a stick or in some cases you can use a net just like I use in these enclosures. So they can hang upside down and mold by the force of gravity. In this case, this is technically not needed because this is already an adult female, but I still want to provide the extra room for the mantis to walk around. And maybe it will affect positively that I will try to breed this amazing species. So let's get to work and prepare this enclosure. This cork sheet is way too thick. Although I think a thinner board would suffice, but still it's it's okay. So let's take some dimensions here and okay, here is the cut. What a mess. I hate this mess. Do we need glue or not? And unfortunately we need some hot glue, so let's get the hot glue gun. Oh, there it is. <laughs> In the meantime, let's clean this a bit. Always keep your workspace clean. This just need to hold on the back side. So nothing wild is needed. There. So 
Now all we need to do is take a fork or a spoon and roughen this cork sheet a bit up so it looks more natural. I think those scissors will do just fine. Careful, be careful when you are getting close to the glass panes. You don't want to damage your enclosure. A fork will be better, definitely. I got some help here with the enclosure. <laughs> you still remember Isolda? Okay, so what should we change? It's good? It's good. She just came into this room. Yeah, Isolda? <laughs> Isolda, come. Isolda, come, come. No, no. You want to run around the room, right? <laughs> no? Okay. Run around the room, but leave the cables. Don't go in there, there are spiders. Big, big, mean spiders. This looks all right. What are you doing? Leave the springtails alone. Isolda, no! <laughs> Always mischief in mind. But you're so cute. You are like a little pet dog. You are like a pet dog. Hmm? Isolda? Pet dog, you are a pet dog. Them rats. Looks like I already got the right amount of cocoa fiber <laughs> in one throw. If you are having the ventilation holes at the front, <laughs> be aware that the that the cocoa fiber or or other kind of substrate you are using it should be significantly below the ventilation holes. There's still some room here, but but those mantids don't really require this amount of substrate, so this will be right. What I also have here, I really want to use, especially for a mantis, I have this beautiful stick and we will try to fit that right inside. Of course, there's a downside with sticks and stuff like this, because this will this can go bad. Okay, so stick shortened. Let's see if this will fit inside. Those are springtails, so let's add some springtails here. We have some jungle earth here with some leaf litter. Yeah. What we have here, because those are tropical animals, so a bit of green here. I think a second stick would be also a good idea. So maybe if I stick that right here inside. I found some moss in my magic box of terrarium stuff. This is maybe not the best kind of moss, but still it will give some variety. Because right now this doesn't really look so amazing. I'll stick that quickly right here. I think we can add the mantis to this enclosure. And put that stick that she has here, this plant, put that inside. This looks bad. There and there. Yeah, this looks this looks good. <laughs> Absolutely. Some water. So my friends, I have a nice surprise for you. Here's your new home. Go and explore.
So as you can see, the rehousing went without any problems. I mean, it's not a tarantula. You don't need to keep in mind that the animal is venomous. And as long as you keep in mind that the animal needs the height to mold, you will have absolutely no problem. And to my Polish friends, if you have a male for this amazing mantis, let me know <laughs> because I really want to pair this beautiful female to have some mantis babies. <laughs> if you like what you saw, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos and as always, thank you for watching. Taranto Hala out. Ah. Ouch. <laughs>